Hi everyone, this is Brian Farrell from Aqueous Solutions LLC. I'd like to show you how you can transfer the entry for an aqueous species like HGCO3 from the MinTech dataset to the uh, Thermal.com V8R6 Plus uh, dataset. So the first thing, uh, this is a Thermal dataset. The entry is HGCO3 aqueous. Uh, we have some basic properties for, for that particular molecule. Uh, it's charged, it's neutral. Um, these ion size parameters are used in activity coefficient calculations. It's uh, molecular weight. And we have uh, a list of four uh, basis species that are used to create HCO3. Um, so there's uh, two H pluses, one HCOH2, uh, negative two H2Os, and one CO3 2 minus. Uh, so there's an easier way to think about this. Um, here's Thermal Mintech. Uh, basis species I showed you, H2O, H+, CO3, 2 minus, HGO, H2. And the reaction, the entry for HGCO3 is equal to 2H+, 1HGO, H2, 1CO3, 2 minus, and a negative amount of H2O. We can just move that to the other side of the reaction and read it how we normally read reactions. HGCO3 plus 2H2O equals 2H+, plus, plus HGO, H2, plus CO3, 2 minus. We can verify this using RxN. First, I'll just open up Thermo Mintech. And I'll balance the reaction for HgCO3. This is going to bring up the default basis species. I can move to the results pane and click Run. And that's going to give us that same reaction. If I expand the results, It'll give us a grid of uh, log k of equilibrium constants uh, from 0 to 100 degrees, the range of uh, the Thermo Mintech data set. <clears throat> so again, this, uh, this first part uh, described the reaction. Uh, the second part describes the equilibrium constants from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. And uh, one important note is that the log k is certain only for 25 degrees Celsius. Um, all other values, all other temperatures, the, the equilibrium constant isn't known. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to block out all these other temperatures for which we don't actually uh, know the real value. So I do that by um, by pasting a value of, of 500. So I'll go ahead and do this, and I'll just uh, give this a, a different name. Set in the desktop. Set it as thermal mintech plus HGCO3. Okay, and now I'll go back to RxN and I'll open that data set. I'll uh, refresh my results, and we'll see that we only have values at 25 degrees Celsius. So I'll just update my little cheat sheet here. And so these are our estimated log k's, and these are our known log k's. And what we want to do is take this information and bring it into <clears throat> bring it into thermo.com. Uh, this data set spans a temperature range of 0 to 300 degrees, uh, unlike 100 degrees here, and it uses different basis species. H2O, H plus are the same, but it uses bicarbonate and Hg2 plus instead of carbonate 
and HgOH2. So what we need to do is find a new reaction for HgCO3 and we need log k values um, for 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm back in uh, RxN with my, uh, with my data set. This is the, uh, the way the reaction was written originally in terms of these original basis species. I'm going to perform basis swaps. I'll replace HgOH2 oops, with Hg2+. And I'll replace carbonate with bicarbonate. Move to the results pane. This is the original reaction, original log k. I'll click run. And now I've rewritten the reaction in terms of the new basis species. The equilibrium constant at 25 degrees has been recalculated. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this information to my cheat sheet. So now we know the reaction. Copy the log k values. So what we need to do is take this information and put it in a form um, that can be read by the the new thermo data set. Going back to reaction RxN, there's a handy way to do this. I'll go to run block, choose overwrite, and that will copy this information to the clip forward in a form that the thermal data set can read. So just to show you what it looks like, I'll paste it here. This is a reaction for HgCO3 written in terms of the new, um, the new basis set with uh, equilibrium constants <clears throat> with the equilibrium constant at uh, 25 degrees. Um, now the only thing we need to change is we need to move the position of the equilibrium constant. So this value is known at 25. Um, in the new thermal data set, thermo.com, uh, 25 is in the second position, 25 degrees. So we'll just copy that and slide that all over. And now, we can take this, um, take this block, and copy it, and we can move to thermo.com. So this is thermo.com, and we want to add in uh, HgCO3. It's going to be an aqueous, an aqueous species. So I'll just search for that. This is the section, the beginning of the section where we add new aqueous species. And now I'll just continue searching down. We'll add it in alphabetical order. Uh, so let's try that. So we, we can add it right in here. And now I'll move back to my cheat sheet. Copy this block. Now it's organized correctly. I'll move um, back up to aqueous species. I'll just update the counter here. I just added one species. Now we have 1,504 aqueous species. I'll go ahead and save this. And that's how you edit your data set. I'll just go back to RxN and uh, verify 
that this works. I go into File, Open, Thermal Data, I go to the Desktop, and I'm going to call this Thermal.com with HGCO3. This one. Here's the entry in terms of the the new uh, basis set with an equilibrium constant known at 25 degrees Celsius. So hope this was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.